What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today I want to talk about some of the best accessories for your Nintendo Switch in handheld mode. Every single product you see in this video I have tried out myself for the Nintendo Switch and uh, some of them I've used a lot, some of them I haven't used a lot, some of them are gonna be very situational, but there's going to be something for everyone in this video, so watch it all the way through, and you're gonna find something you're gonna love, especially if you're going to be using your Nintendo Switch often, or even just occasionally, in handheld mode. First things first, your Nintendo Switch, we gotta talk about a case for it, because this boy is for Gile. Ah, Fragile. It must be Italian. You may want to, especially if you're using your Nintendo Switch on the go a lot, or if it's your kid's Nintendo Switch and you're a parent, you may want to go ahead and get themselves a protective case for the Nintendo Switch. I, I like to live life dangerously. My iPhone has no case on there, mostly because of my pop socket. Austin John plays pop sockets coming soon. Right here is the Mumba case for the Nintendo Switch. This one right here, not super solid. It's very solid. This is not like OtterBox, life proof level, but this one is going to help soak up a lot of dings, especially on your corners, on your back, not on your screen, and not on your shoulder buttons. The Joy-Cons, they're replaceable, and the screen, uh, the screen isn't really replaceable, but for that, just get yourself one of those simple glass screen protectors. It's gonna be a link in the description down below on all these items. If you want a holder that's a little bit more casual, I recommend the Switch Grip Pro. This is by Satisfy. They sent me over a prototype a long time ago to review, and I've actually been using it heavily since. When I went out to E3, I had this with me in my backpack, and then when I was playing in handheld mode all the time, this is how I played it. Nicest part is that this is slightly angled, so your hand sits there. It's off center from there, which is a good thing. It feels more ergodynamic, and any game that involves a lot of camera movement, this is really clutch for. While we're talking about cases, this right here is by Antank. This is a charging case for the Nintendo Switch. It pops up, you put your Nintendo Switch inside of there, you shut it closed, Right here on the bottom, we have a button that shows the power indicator and your Nintendo Switch begins to charge. Not in focus, that's fine. Nicest part on the back, you have two kickstands. So if you wanna play this in tabletop mode and have like a nice solid 45 degree angle, go for it. A little dangerous, you can play in a handheld mode. It's very heavy. It's very heavy, it adds a lot of bulk, but it's one solid unit. Also, it has all the ports open at the top, and the bottom is, of course, covered by the USB-C, but you have vents on the back. You cannot plug extra accessories into this. You could charge it via USB-C right there, but there is no USB out, so you're stuck to only using these two Joy-Cons or anything wireless. If you want something a little bit more versatile and a little less clunky than that, and you're not gonna be playing it with a rusted on your belly, you can get a battery pack. I've been using Rav Power battery packs for a long time. This is the only battery pack I have found with a USB-C out at three amps, which can not only sustain a charge on the Nintendo Switch, but charge it all the way through. And essentially, you could get 10 to 12 hours of battery life with this plugged into here. 20,100 milliamp hours. It also has USB out, and a quick charge out so you can charge your phone or your iPad, whatever you want. Dope battery brick. Making our way into stands. This is the Hori Nintendo Switch. This is the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild stand. This is super compact. It's about, mm, about one inch in width and it folds out. This folds up. It has three different height level adjustments, one, two, and three, and your Nintendo Switch sits right there. When it sits there, you could either be at a very low angle, a slightly higher angle, this is a full 45, uh, full 45 degrees, or a very high, about 60 degree angle. Whatever suits you best. If I were to be playing right now, I would want this at its lowest setting. That way it's, uh, I'd say it's about 30 degrees facing up. Its direct straightforward angle is here, the 45 direct straight angle is here. So maybe just move it back a little bit. Yeah, that's the move. That's the move. 
You want something even more compact than the compact stand? Great! The official Nintendo Switch stand. Now you may have seen this box, the adjustable charging stand, but I doubt you realize how small this is. It is extremely small. This is like, comparing it to my iPhone, not even as high as my notifications. That's how small it is. This guy has a very sturdy adjustable stand plate, and it could be in any angle, and it has a USB-C adapter out, and a USB-C adapter in with the groove. So you take it, you plug it in, and then you get to choose your angle that you want it to be back. It's not as sturdy as the Hori, but it is significantly more compact. If you're in a place that you're not going to be in a teetering environment, then it works. It works well. There are two slightly less conventional stands that I want to cover briefly. There is this one by you, partner, and this one is designed for a headrest in a car. So when you lift the headrest up, you have those two metal poles. These attach to the two metal poles, and then your Nintendo Switch chills in here. This expands out a little bit, and boom. Just like that, all set up, good to go. Now, this is kind of important, and I want to talk about this. This is super sturdy. If the car vibrates, this is going to vibrate with it. It's not like stabilized or anything magical like that. But if a kid is in the back seat and he's looking down like this, it's going to cause strain to his neck. I mean, any adult that you're going to have that problem. The people look at the phone too much. They start to look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. But if this is now at eye height directly in front of them, that's a lot healthier for their neck and back. Perfect if you're going on any long car trips. You could also fit an iPad in here if you want to watch movies, things like that. So very versatile piece. The last slightly more obscure stand I want to talk about, and I'm going to loosely classify this as a stand. This is a gooseneck desktop stand by Tyrone. Sorry, not Tyrone, try one, try one. This bad boy is a very, very sturdy gooseneck arm and your Nintendo Switch fits right in there snugly. You just need a teddy on the, on the back and your Nintendo Switch can either be at your desk at that height, like super eye level, very immersive experience. Let's bring the mic over here a little bit. And then while you're looking at it, your field of view is just this. So it's a much more immersive experience. Or if you want to get crazy, if you want to lay in bed, play your Nintendo Switch, but can your chair do this? If you wanted to do that, that could be an option. Now, by no means, now by no means do I recommend doing this if you do not sleep alone. If, if you are a single guy, then yes, this works great. Or a girl, single girl, then, then it works great. And pro tip, if you ever have a random person come into your bedroom and ask what this is, you say that you put your Kindle or your iPad there and you read in bed and boom, now you're cultured, not a loser. Austin John, always looking out for you. We have only one more category left, which is cases, but before that, I have a weird honorable mention to Yes Oho. The Yes Oho is the world's only Nintendo Switch projector slash battery pack. It is a fully wireless, has a battery in there, has a dock in there, Safe to use. Oh, is it dead? I think it's totally dead. This is the Yes Oho, which I'm, I'm not too sure where you're gonna be able to see that. Oh, you can see it. Oh, yeah, that's that's my desktop. That's my home screen. Uh, this lets you play your Nintendo Switch on any surface. It has an auto tilt. It also has a manual focus for a very clear picture. You can literally just see this right here. I mean, it's not it's not high def or anything. It's on a, a fabric case. But yes, that is your Nintendo Switch in a projector. And the last thing to talk about is actual cases. Now for a case, you can't really go wrong. I have the official Nintendo Switch one here. You can see it's a little dirty. I had some renovation going on and a little monogram. Uh, this one lets you hold your Nintendo Switch two packs of four games each, a small patch for wires. If you need more room, then it's up to you on which one you want to do. This one is by Yes Oho. This is a nice velvety cushiony area, like velour pants. Your Nintendo Switch games fit in here, more room for wires, but 
The creme de la creme. This is by R. L. Soko. This is an absolutely ridiculous case. First of all, it's so ridiculous. It has a shoulder strap, okay? Inside of here, we have an area for your actual Nintendo Switch. Boop. We have an area for your Joy-Cons and Joy-Con holder. Boop. Very snug fits. We have an area for your OEM dock. Your official Nintendo Switch dock fits inside of here. This is like if you're going on trips, like real family trips, you're going away for a week, uh, you're gonna be in a cabin somewhere, there's a TV, there's also this, which is a great way to have all of your wires, your official Nintendo Switch charger in here, some USB-C cables if you can fit it, this slides in here, and Pro Controller, screw it, throw it in there. Boop. That fits in there beautifully and snugly. On the top right here, Room for every single physical game that you could own. And on the top, area for your wires, your, your USB-Cs and such. This thing is a beef, beefy boy. But this is perfect for family trips. And if the kids are in the back seat and they're playing their Nintendo Switch, you just zip it up, you take this guy out, you take this guy out, you still have your dock and everything else ready to go. So yeah. Went through a lot of different accessories for every different sort of lifestyle you can have with your Nintendo Switch. Again, I mentioned it before, there are links to every single product in the description down below. Since I purchased most of these with my own money, there are going to be affiliate links. If you do purchase it with that link, I make a very small cut of it, and I appreciate you if you do that. But yeah, guys, if you haven't done so, be sure to hit the like button down below, and be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. We're gonna hit half a mil by the time Smash comes out. By the time Let's Go comes out, I appreciate you. You appreciate me. Positivity. Till next time, Austin John out.